Do you pay attention to your natural work rhythm or do you just ignore it and stay unproductive? Welcome to this episode of the Do It Now Show where we're talking about harnessing your own natural rhythms to get better results. I'm Dr. Christopher Vogelman. With me, as always, is my faithful co-host, John Paduchek of many things. John Paduchek, <laughs> John Paduchek <laughs> RV Business Builders, yeah, RV yeah. there yet. No, and and the upcoming the upcoming RV goodness, goodness podcast. podcast. Goodness gracious sakes alive! Uh, yeah. We were expecting Dr. Kayvon K to come in, but he's had some technical difficulties with his microphone. Because what were you saying, John? If anything can go wrong in technical stuff, it does. In the first two minutes before in the, the first show. two minutes in the first two minutes. <laughs> Or, 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 or for the first two minutes we were just here. The first two minutes, the last two minutes, I don't know. You know, it's our two minute warning, and the football season hasn't even started yet. I so, know. Um, so let's start out with some basic stuff, which is um, what's your natural cycle for working? And I bet it's different than mine. It is different. When are you at your peak in terms of energy, efficiency, getting stuff done? I find that I get the most stuff done in the morning, mm -hmm. early, when nobody else is around. How early? Uh, if I can get up at like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning and do stuff, but I don't always do that. Oh, okay. So it's just one of those things. Um, Are you sleep deprived or no? A little bit lately. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so uh, that's that's something that I've been, uh, I've been working on with the doc. Trying to get that straightened out gotcha. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am definitely in the sleep deprived category, which, you know, hey, millions of people are. Well, there is a sort of a sleep deficit that accumulates with us over time. And typically, like, uh, mm -hmm. I think some people, even sales managers, are recognizing that you have to have your salespeople getting enough sleep and you need to adapt to their particular energy cycles. So so I think I think they talked about it. It was a week or maybe a two week period where you measure your sleep deficit. And that can mm -hmm. have a lot to do with the amount of energy that you're going to be able to put out on a daily basis to get stuff done. So exactly. are you? You, are you a night owl or a, well i think you might be you know the uh the early bird funny you should say this so i used to be a night i used to be a night owl coach join you used to be oh look, look. from dr okay. with multiple i think he's got the amps open i can hear myself in the broadcast does this work is, is this working now it's working yeah. okay but now there's, there's an echo echo, echo. echo. Oh, okay hold echo. on a second He'll work on that. He's working on it, right? Apple Music. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, I used to be a night owl, so I actually would do. Well, but 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 here, no, here's the thing that I don't understand. But you were a farm boy. How did yeah, that work out? It, you know, it's a funny, it's a funny thing. Okay. Because uh, when you're when you're farming, you do a lot of stuff early. Yeah, but sometimes you end up doing a lot of stuff late at night too. You're like after the sun goes down, you're still gonna slap the hogs or something, or no? But you were still doing, you know, like we would still be doing like uh, hay late at night or um, stacking a barn or you know we could be doing all kinds of stuff at different times. Um, so were you more know, efficient then for the nighttime chores? No, I think my night. I think I think my night owl thing really came when I went to college. Got it. And then um, that, it just became, I hated early morning classes. Mm -hmm. And then later as time went on, and I, I think we all kind of get used to or our rhythms change to an alarm clock to go to work and all of that, um, I tended to be more productive in the morning, a little more productive in the morning, or more late morning. And late then, morning. It's yeah. interesting you say that because I was reading an article a couple of days ago about late morning is a time in sales teams where you want to take advantage of that, you know, and there's like mm -hmm. the pre-lunch push where you people get a little energy surge before they head out to for the noontime. Mm -hmm. And um, like for me, I tend to be my natural tendency is night owl. And some of my most productive things occur like between 10 p.m. and one in the morning. By the time two rolls around, I'm not very productive. 
Um, but yeah. the other one is late morning. So when you mentioned late morning, that's one of the things. What that's happened? Exactly true. No, I was going to say, I was the same way. Like oh, uh, yeah. 10, to, 10 to 1, 2 o'clock, it's like, man. I've had At 2 a.m., 2 a.m., I'm, I'm done. Done. Yeah. So are we doing? Are we talking about the farmers' hours versus bankers' hours? Kind no, of we're thing? talking. We're talking That's night owl hard. versus uh, what is it? Early bird, and trying uh -huh. to figure out where your natural rhythm is. And I'm, I'm glad you finally were able to fix things because my hope was that we would we would have Dr. K von K putting the K in circadian. There you go. So, <laughs> there you go. Let's spell with a C. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I caught that, but I let it go. <laughs> You would let it go. <laughs> so just, like, just like the Darth, just like the Darth Vader joke from the other day. Yes, oh. there you go. <laughs> Darth Vader so joke. What are what are your thoughts? Is you're you're a you're well, a, um, an activity coach and a profit finder. How can you find profits if you don't know what your natural tendency is to do the work? Indeed, it will be very very hard. Yeah. Um, no, mm -hmm. here's the thing. You know, um, you were talking about farm work or college work. Um, mm -hmm. Some of my best hours. Um, I think if we don't consider what type of work we're doing, mm -hmm. we are not being very accurate with 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 this conversation because yeah. we have different type of work. We have right. you know creative work, um, connecting the dot kind of work, synthesis, like receiving information is something, processing it and connecting the dots, come, coming up with solutions is another. Um, whether uh, like alone work is something, working with other people is is another one. You mentioned salespeople, so I think. And um, not only we have this concept called peak time, which mm -hmm. is where uh, that two, 90 minutes to two hours per day that everybody has, that all of our circadian rhythms are at their high. Mm -hmm. And we also have the low time, but peak time for any kind of activity. But we also have, in my experience, peak time per activity. So mm -hmm. um, when I measured mine, my peak time, like majority of the population, is somewhere between 9 to 11 30 a.m with a uh, wake up time around somewhere between 6 to 7 a.m hmm. um and the, the the time from wake up time plays a role in that um some people are you know um 2 a.m you you see even you, mm -hmm. you see it even in, in the movies like the the coder the hacker the programmer guy after the night, you know, it has the heavy metal music and everybody else is sleeping and they're going, that could be a big time for, for a lot of that. And uh, so we should consider time of the day. When I measured mine, that was my peak time. And I noticed, uh, kept track of my activities and how I feel about them. Um, what's my best guess? Where do I put them? So I, dis, uh, I, I divided my day into four zones, time zones. The first few hours, so early morning, late morning, early mm -hmm. afternoon, late afternoon. Early morning, the few first hours of after um, waking up, it's uh, what I call the, the input time. It was best time for me to receive information, listen to things, audio books, and basically input yeah. things go in. The second part, the late morning, which that was that 9 to 11, 9 to 11, 30 to 12, was... Um, my most creative synthesizing information. Uh, so that's my peak time. Therefore, most profitable activities, most um, uh, needle moving activities should be in that time for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, early afternoon, I was in output mode. So um, t I was talkative, I was social. I could do my, my coaching clients in that time would get my best version of me because I am in, in that mode. And, and after that late afternoon, all the, this different parts of my brain are now done and shut down. <laughs> and my body starts to, let's go to the gym, you know. So that was my zone for uh, what I call, what, um, not, I, uh, what's that guy who wrote the getting things done? Uh, something, Alan? Yeah, he called it brain dead activities. Robert Allen, James Allen, there's a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, something. Eve Allen, but he was the talk show host. So um, brain dead activities as in, Paying bills, administration, you know? that, that, kind of thing that, <laughs> that you don't need uh, a lot of processing power. Bring that activities goes to, to that fourth zone for me. Yeah, it's interesting you mentioned that because one of the things in this, this is a particular sales manual thing I was reading and was talking about how um, they recommended that you check your emails and return calls and other things like that, like around after 4 p.m. Because there's less energy expended and just kind of running through all the tasks or the, in terms of, you know, emails and this type of yeah. thing and yeah, yeah, where, yeah. where it's 
there's a lot less, it's definitely a lot less creativity. But, but Dr. K, so when do you work on your mime routines? <laughs> when my microphone goes off. When your microphone goes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, so we were talking a little bit earlier before you popped in here about sleep deficit. What's what's been your experience with sleep deficit and and sleep routines, and what's the best way to fix this so that oh. people are more alert and productive? So um, today, my sleep score, according to my Fitbit, was seventy eight, which is kind of high for me. Um, I usually get lower seventies. Um, eighty would be a very very high number. So seventy eight, it means I had a good quality sleep. So hmm. again, with with the previous, like the previous conversation, quality of the sleep is one concept. Amount of the sleep, sleep is another. Uh, more sleep is not necessarily better. So mm -hmm. um, let's talk about quality of sleep first. Mm -hmm. um, we sleep with a full sleep cycle is around 90 minutes, 90 something minutes per mm -hmm. uh, for average human. Yeah. Um, that we go through all of these stages. And so a good quality sleep is that you wake up and you get up when a cycle is finished. The days that we are groggy and the whole day is, is, is hard, even though we might have had long hours of sleep, but we're groggy because we woke up in the middle of the cycle. Mm -hmm. So our, our brain didn't get to go to the full reset. It's like a computer crashing in the middle of a, um, Process, yeah. right? Don't wake me when I'm in a theta wave. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Um, it would be great for us to pay attention to finishing a sleep cycle mm -hmm. rather than sleeping more. So that 10 minutes more, 15 minutes more, half an hour more is actually not, not good for us. So there are a couple of ways to, to work with that. The easiest, most analog way is this rule that when you wake up, get up. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, you have noticed that there is a early morning that you naturally just wake up. What happened? What time is it? It means you're at the end of your sleep cycle and your body's trying to tell you, hey, we're done. We can get up now. The curse of the alarm clock interrupts that one. Yes, and the alarm mm -hmm. clock so, is good hmm. to interrupts with that. So, or the rooster. Or well, in his rooster. case, it's the rooster. Uh, He's got the rooster. Yeah. The rooster so, gets the rooster. So, that's the most analog way when you that habit, which can be life changing. And I had like people tell me that changed everything for them is just that habit. No alarm clock. Just when you wake up, get up. So it's that 10 seconds of discipline to get out of bed. Um, the other one is um, setting our alarm for a complete sleep cycle. So can I share my screen? Sure. Let me uh, this is interesting. I had no idea that we were going to be yeah looking as much about sleep but it makes sense to me uh where is your screen i don't see it here. Uh, i'm sharing it now oh well yeah dr k von k profit coach joined dr k von k profit coach joined there we go please <laughs> just screened it it's a blank <laughs> inception which level of dreaming was i in in that one that's way beyond the fourth level it's just like the movie. Are we buying something or? <laughs> no, it's, uh, I think the website that I was going to show is now. Okay, it's so sleeping. This, I saw. I guess they they have rebranded their thing. It used oh. to be called Sleepy uh, dot, no Sleepy Time dot me. So it's Sleepy Time. Oh, so sleepy. See, powered by Sleepy Time, but it's now called Sleepopolis. <laughs> Sleepopolis. I don't know if I want to live in that town. Yes. I think I, I think so I like sleepy time better. Batman Batman would never make it in Sleepopolis. Yeah. No superhero. They'd be all like, you know, having narcolepsy or insomnambulism. <laughs> it's like that <laughs> it's like that mattress <laughs> brand, you know, sleep country. <laughs> sleep country. Yeah. Sleep so country. so here is look at this. Yeah. I want to wake up at a certain hour. So let's say six forty twenty AM. Six twenty okay. Okay. So with your sleep cycles, mm -hmm. you can go to bed at 9.20 or 10.15 yeah. or 12.20 or 1.50. Those are the ones that when you wake up, you have a full sleep cycle. Um, and you have yeah. to consider this is the time that you want to fall asleep. Right. You know, they have, it means you need to get in bed a good 15 minutes before. Right. Exactly. exactly. Right. Yeah. So 
to fall asleep at 920, you want to be in bed at 905 or so. Right. right, right. Um, so yeah. these are recommended times for that cool. wake up time yeah. that you have a full sleep cycle. Yeah. Um, now, see, you get six sleep cycles here, five, four, three. Now, let's say I wanted to go to bed and, you know, fall asleep at 920. I miss it and it's 945 now. Mm -hmm. it's it's not a good idea to say okay let me get to bed so at least i get a little bit more it's better for you to wait for the next cycle and go to bed at that time that's mm -hmm. fascinating that is fascinating yes so at least you get next five day. full cycles or fall asleep at that time so if i needed so so on wednesdays i have a zoom call at starting at 6 a.m every wednesday morning because yeah. it's nine o'clock eastern Okay. That particular call, as much as I adore the presenter and get a lot of benefit out of it, yeah. I have to interrupt my normal rhythm in order to make that call. And I am never quite the same for another 36 hours. Well, you can manage it by setting up. This is right. great. Yeah. yeah. I got to I kind of get to sleep at just the right time to wake yeah. up at 530 or 540. I stretch yeah. it by going 540. So. <laughs> this is sleep so time. I used meeting. to have another tool here. So this was about what time, uh, you know, do I want to get up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I plan to fall asleep at, what's this other calculator? Let me see, what does this well, one do? It will tell you when you can get up if you plan to fall it's, it's the same one. Now, here's it's the thing. Um, what happens if I'm going to bed now? What would be a good time for me to get up or set the alarm? Right. right. If you go to, if I go to it now, 4 a.m., 5.30, 1 a.m. So by just the sleep now button just tells you, um, okay, you're going to bed now or you're falling asleep now. Um, what time you want to set your alarm? So this would be really good too for night shift people because they really screw up their circadian rhythm on a regular basis. But if you could yeah, even really help them survive a little more easily without the same level of heart attack, stroke, and diabetes. Yes. Um, now here's the thing. Um, I mentioned that I use Fitbit to to mm -hmm. um, to basically monitor my sleep and get the score. On my Fitbit, there is this option, and also I used to use this app on my phone called. Uh, let me uh, stop the sharing and get back to the screen with you guys. The app was no. You, I have to. I have to stop. Oh, you did shut. There you go. You have more so, than I thought you did. Okay. Um, I used to have this app on my phone called Sleep Cycle. Even the free version was working really well. Yeah. And you just put your phone near your bed and the microphone listening to your breathing mm. will will detect that you fell asleep now and what stage you're at. So all of this, you could basically see how your sleep cycle is, are doing. I mean, what if there are two of you in the room on the bed at the same time? Yeah, well, actually, that was the thing that don't worry it works we have you know okay. fixed the problem and it worked pr perfect you know okay. when it was uh, the other person was not being detected um so here's the thing on the sleep cycle app i could say okay i'm going to bed now go to sleep put this here and i want to wake up around that's i don't know 6 a.m right. it wouldn't go the alarm wouldn't go off at 6 a.m it would pay attention to my sleep cycle and go off around 6 a.m mm -hmm. when is the right time for my sleep cycle to be completed now i have the same feature on my fitbit that i say this is the time that i wake up but it's called the smart wake up it pays mm -hmm. attention to my sleep cycles and wakes me up around that time not specifically on that time um knowing that this is a good time for my physiology to to wake up so that that feeling of okay i'm well rested i'm refreshed that was mm -hmm. a good sleep it it can be helped with these kind of kind of features and if you have a nightmare and woke up or a loud noise or something and woke you up out of this thing? Would you read? Then, uh, then being groggy is not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with, I don't know if this happens to you guys or not, but sometimes when I have a nightmare, I get a cold sore. No? Yeah. It's it's the stress of, of the virus living in the nerve. So right. I get I get a cold sore here if if I have a nightmare. So I, uh, I get the more nightmares the opening, ice on it and then it minimizes the impact. You should ask my wife about that. So she has a, she, well, she has a stress reaction to. Oh. Yeah. Know, well, to, this, no, this is proven that you know cold sore has a relationship with with stress and um, 
sudden yeah. stress, like nightmare on that. Yeah, yeah. I know that I know that extreme anger can bring on cold sores because I've had a couple of patients who's like, oh, I just got so pissed off and blah 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 yeah. blah. Boom, boom. Suddenly yeah, there's yeah. digestive issues and and of course the the aphthous ulcer in the mouth yeah. is. So you get the big bottle of lysine and. Yeah, I I can't remember the one when was the last time I turned green, so I I can't talk to you about the extreme anger anymore. I see. You're kind of hulky and bulky when you're at CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've seen I've seen a few videos. <laughs> Roll a few tires. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm a six foot four, uh, two hundred and ninety pound man. I know. Wait, what? Oh yeah, six foot four, two hundred ninety five, no, two hundred ninety pounds, and I have a good forty pounds to get rid of around this waist, which is. Oh, under okay. I thought you were bulking up to get there. No, 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 no. I am. Uh, I like, 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 this, this COVID baby is, uh, is not the head leaving me alone. COVID baby. <laughs> yes. I've had, I've had issues with my tortilla weight. So, but the combo of the. Um, I figure you were telling me tamale weight. Well, not, no, more tortillas than tamales. I mean, tamale, season, <laughs> tamale seasons come and go, but tortillas last forever. Yeah, that's true. So, that's <laughs> what I can tell you. We measure our lives in Mexican cooking. You know, we measure life, yeah, in terms of seasonal seasonal dishes. Um, <laughs> so, so you It sounds as though your particular cycle thing is what it was. It was nine thirty. It was nine o'clock to eleven thirty, or it was nine thirty to noon. Oh, my, for my peak time. Yeah, your peak time. Yeah, it's around. It starts around nine fifteen or so. Okay. Nine nine fifteen and. It goes till like 11 30 11 45. 11 30 11 45 that makes sense so what john what is your peak time it varies actually a little bit so um like i said if i can get up earlier i'm i'm very productive the minute i like almost the minute i get up like within 30 minutes but on average um probably 9 30 or 10 o'clock to noon mm -hmm. Let me tell you how I measured it. So yeah, how did you measure this? Though? Yeah, there, it's it's called the CNS tap test, as in central. CNS. Yeah, CNS as in central nervous system. Oh, CNS. I thought you said CNS. Yeah, mm -hmm. CNS um, tap test. There are apps for that, and also my friend and mentor Ari Maizel actually created his own app called Peak Time App. It's available on you know Google Peak. and um, um and iPhone. Uh, so, so peak time app. peak time yeah peak time. so what happens is um on your phone at a certain different times of the day you you have to with your index finger you go tap 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 like that and it measures within 30 seconds or so how many taps you can do and you do that at different times of the day and after doing that for a few days it 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 finds where it was that in a day that you could do the ma uh, maximum and it does both left hand and right hand right finger mm -hmm. and, um so the data will tell you this is from this time to that time is your peak time and i found and i find that's the most accurate way to measure it so the physiology will give you a sense of what your mm -hmm. neurology is yes mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. So does it matter if you use your index finger or say your restless middle finger? You can you can wish to use whatever shorter finger you want as long as you okay. keep the same, same right? finger okay. every day on your test. There's there's one that gets a lot of use. So <laughs> yeah, but yeah, don't don't switch fingers. The same finger, so you keep can the keep same it. finger. Okay. So imagine that you do that like four or five times a day for a Got few it. days. Now the software can calculate. But you're, you're not just doing time. this hourly, are you? I mean. Hey, it's just a few days. It's time to start tapping away. It's just a few days to give it the data, okay. you know, and uh, it you know figures it out. The more data you give it, the better, right? Not only do you put the K in circadian, but you put the data in day. The, the, well, the day and data. The day and data. Yeah. All right. That's good. Yeah. That's really interesting. So this is Ari Mizell. Ari Mizell, yeah. Okay. And, and uh, the app is time. called Peak Time. Peak Time. Peak okay. Time. Yeah. Not not like peekaboo time. No, it's P E A K. P E A K. Okay. I'm just like, I was thinking, hey, it's time to pee. Peak time. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> so, so um, speaking of bad jokes, um, let's oh, play. Whoa. Let's, you know, <laughs> well, we just went right in. My that. friend told me, Kayvon, my other friends told me, Kayvon, you want to play hide and seek? I said, okay. So they said, okay, we go hide and you go seek professional help. I see. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
There you go. So wow. this will see it. I'm not even going to do that for you. <laughs> These Vader kind of friends joke. are on his enemies, right? I know. No kidding, right? I like the Darth Vader joke better. So. Yeah, well, um, why don't you uh, you keep oh, it, right? but people don't know it, say it. To be able to know it. Okay, so, so um, why is it so difficult to surprise Darth Vader with a gift? Why is it so difficult? Because he senses your presence. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, but I'm um, <laughs> I didn't get a face palm on that one. Oh, no, I that's a delay. That doesn't count. Bad face palm. That's a delay. Delay a face palm. We can edit it later. <laughs> yeah, who's going back? Yeah, edit later to make sure the instantaneous face palm. Yes. So, yeah, with yeah. the sound effect, does uh, does Malon do it like a slap sound effect? Slap. There are sound effects in here. You know, but I just haven't used them. Oh, it's my God. There are. Right there are. Here they are. Let's see. What's the reactions? Do we have? We've got. Oh. Yeah. Here we have one, one. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds like they're gonna. Sounds like they're bringing pitchforks along to kill someone. Wow. Kids love me. What can I say? There you go. Mild laughter. That's for Kevin. <laughs> That's for me. So, <laughs> oh, that's for John. <laughs> oh, there that, you go. That could be for all three of us. So that's next that's time my face. Make a joke, that's we need a sound problem. effect. Yeah, I've got the. I just have never used the sound effects before in a live broadcast. So there you go. You there discover you something new every day here. I was going to say the marketing happy hour, but that show's dead. It's the Do It Now show. Anyway, now. Um, I think we're just about wrapped up for today. I, you know, the, I love the stuff on sleep, mm. Dr. K. Mm. I think that's very interesting. I had completely forgotten about sort of the natural 90 minute cycle. And I'm just wondering, you know, why am I so groggy in the morning? But in particular, when I interrupt my routine, it's kind of like, you know, well, how do I get back after that 6 a.m., you know, live, be at your very best Zoom call? how do I get back to the uh, the more normal type of sleep cycle? But I think I'm going to test out that little app because I think the happy days are here again. Yeah, it's good. So what, so the two, the two apps that you, or the two program, the program and the app that you mentioned, the first one was Sleeptopia or Sleep... Sleepopolis. 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 Yeah. Search, okay. search for Sleepy Time or Sleepopolis. Sleepy time. Yeah. As opposed to the T. Yeah, okay. because uh, Sleepopolis seems that they have other things like mattresses and that sort of thing. So the home, the home page doesn't go there. Um, mm-hmm. So the full URL, I'm gonna put it the uh, in the for the calculator, sleep calculator. I'm gonna put it in the chat. If you can, yeah, share I, can, it with I, can put it, I can share it to the public chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Okay. Um, and then the so other that, one was Peak the Peak Time app. Peak Time app, oh, and also another app on the phone is called uh, Sleep Cycle. Oh. Is that like Soul Cycle only with less bicycle? Yes. Um, and also, there is a this book. Let me just um, quickly search for it. Oh, so I've got that one in the public. That's in the streaming chat. So Thank those you. Of you who want to do that, it does say Sleepopolis. Sleepopolis. Yeah. The book is called, and also the website, same name. It's called. Uh, the power of when. When? Yeah. When are you posting it? Um, I'm not posting it. I'll put it in chat. Just the power of when. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here again. So the power of when is by Dr. Michael Bruce, um, and it's all about uh, sleep, right? Uh, so when to sleep? Because there is also a quiz that tells you your sleep uh, type. So some mm-hmm. people are wolves. Some people are um, bears. Majority of people are bear, bears. So wolves, bears? bears, dolphins, and lions. Um, bears, well, what are the different? No, now you got me really intrigued. What's the difference between a bear, a dolphin, and a lion? Okay, um, so they, these are called the chronotype. You, so you yeah. take a quiz. Yeah. So here's the thing. Think uh, um, many, many hundreds of thousands of years ago, cavemen, and and you have the hunter-gatherers and all of that. So for the survival. Back, back, when, back when there was a cave on caveman. There you go. Yeah. Uh, for the so, so for the survival, you needed different type of people. So mm-hmm. the ones that they 
go hunt, they need to wake up in the morning. The ones yeah. that they do the, I don't know, berries and all of that, they wake up a little bit later. Um, you also need people that they are night people. They are the ones that they guard when everybody else is sleeping. Yeah, keep watch. So, yep. Yeah, so keep watch. So wolves are those people, right? They are night operating people at their highest um, attention. So with with doing the t t quiz for the chronotype, you find mm -hmm. out which chronotype are you? Are you a dolphin, a wolf, bear, or or lion? And also the whole book is about uh, not only you find your chronotype, but also the power of when has um, long chapters of of what when to do what activity for your chronotype, like when to eat, when to uh, sleep, when to be intimate with your partner, when to when to um, evacuate your bowels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so for all your day to day activities, there's an optimum time for that for your chronotype that you basically increase the uh, quality of your life. So um, the book, um, the if you look for his name on podcasts, you will find a bunch of great um, interviews. Actually, we mentioned Ari Maizel um, mm -hmm. on, on Ari's Less Doing podcast. You find two different episodes, um, interview with Dr. Bruce. Um, so uh, there is a lot of um, information and in instructions there to for how you manage your schedule and your life for all of your activities based on your chronotype. So is a lion like a cat just wakes up to eat? Uh, I don't remember which is which. I know that. <laughs> but he's very honest because he wouldn't be lying about the lion. I know. That's true. Yes. Uh, I'm just thinking of my cat. If it's the thoughts. Like sleeps all day. Okay. Real lions are morning hunters at oh. the top of the food chain. That's not your cat, John. This uh, yeah. this name fits morning oriented driven optimist when with medium sleep drive. Bears are real bears are go with the flow ramblers, um, mm -hmm. uh, good sleepers, and anytime hunters. Uh, yep. wo yeah, wolves are um, nocturnal hunters. This name fits the night oriented creative extroverts with a medium sleep drive. And oh, a dolphins, night, wait, a night oriented creative? Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. You know the, the coder that I mentioned? Yeah. 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 So that type. And also the dolphins are uh, sleep with only half their brain at a time, which is why they're called uh, unihemispheric sleepers. The other half is awake and alert, concentrating on swimming and looking for predators. Uh, this name fits um, insomniacs well. Intelligent. Neurotic light sleepers with a low sleep drive. Interesting. Oh, I'm so, somewhere between. I think I'm a wolf dolphin. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like a, um, um, what is it? Uh, a dolphin, uh, dolphin lion kind of. A thing. You're a dolphin lion? Uh, Are you lying I'm, about that dolphin? I'm like a bear. I, like this. I could, you know, it's really funny. Yeah, I don't want to even go into it. But somebody who said many years ago, they're talking about it, the uh, Native Americans and your totem, and it was dolphin. Dolphin. Or, or otter, actually. <laughs> Very playful. I don't know how otters, we don't have otters in our chronotype, apparently. We ought to be dolphins. Yeah, you ought to get her done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was actually fascinating. We've got, we know that most of you, the vast majority of you do watch us on replay so please use the hashtag replay for us if you want more information on this topic or you have any other suggestions for topics that we might cover in the future please drop them down below we are broadcasting in 10 different places and when you just comment then we know where you are but not in a creepy sort of way um we're stalking you we're not stalking. Look who's stalking. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're, we're not stalking you, but please stalk us. Please yeah. stalk us. Yes, we're 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 pro stalking as far as stalking us are concerned. We are the stalkies. Was the stalker versus stalky? Yes. Yeah, yes. The... We'd like to be our stalker. <laughs> that just sounds really wrong. We're not going to yeah, go into stalkers want it. I've actually had a couple in the past, but that's a whole other story. Um, we we are. We're going to respond to whatever your questions and comments are in a very timely manner. 
And uh, we look forward to seeing you again at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on next Friday. Because if it's that time, it's time for the Do It Now show. And we are ready to go because the show is over. <laughs>